Hello Libra, how are you? Welcome into your weekly reading, the first week of October. So we want to see um, basically what's happening with you in your world. We're going to look into your energy. We're using a cow to cross, so we'll be able to see what your challenges may be, what's going on around you, um, what is going to be unfolding, and um, um, outcomes, basically. So let's get into your reading. And remember Libra, I have a bonus at the end of this reading, okay? A free bonus, okay? You don't have to go and download it somewhere. And um, It's a free bonus where I'm going to be checking in into somebody's energy for you so it's an energy check-in i want to see with regards to anyone that you can think of right now and um, it can be somebody that you haven't seen in many years it can be somebody that you just recently met it can even be the ex i am just saying and we're going to check that out at the end of the reading in that bonus otherwise guys let's get into your reading remember general reading um you will know if it resonates with you if it does not resonate with you check your rising sign check your moon and check venus for love if you do want to have a personal reading with me please contact me my email is below in the description box um of this video i do video calls as well as pre-recorded videos for you guys out there every single day from people from all over the world it's absolutely wonderful so let's get in here main energy out is you Wow, okay. The first card out here is success and growth. I just want to show you that. Um, that's very quick moving energy around you. Um, Eight of Wands, very fast moving. Now, because this is the Eight of Wands, we need to check the cards that are happening around the Eight of Wands. Because the Eight of Wands is all about um, fast moving speed with regards to whatever cards are around it. So we need to have a look and see what is going on. So first of all, let's go in here and see possibly what some kind of challenge could be around you right now. Okay, Three of Cups is your challenge, really? Mm, a lot's going on around you. A lot of people, a lot of movement. Um, be careful of the people, I'm just saying. You need you to sometimes chillax, you know. Um, be careful of who you surround yourself with. That could be a bit of a problem. Um, Three of Cups is actually a very positive card. Um, a lot of excitement. Did you win the lottery? I'm just saying. A lot of excitement, a lot of, a lot of things happening. In the root energy, you've got the world card. This is like goals and dreams coming true. You know, in the past here, we've got Three of Wands. Wow, the opening up of your world what happened libra and over here and in the, in the possibilities here is the ending of a very very hard cycle wow i hope i said libra in the beginning of the reading hey eh? i could have sworn i said something else but anyway it is libra um your future what is going on here six of pentacles wow um the energy that you feel about yourself you're so happy right now what is happening here the sun card do you know what? Because the Eight of Wands comes out here first. If this has not happened to you, I feel like this is very, it's coming. Something very quick is coming in here. Let's see the energy around you. Again, a 10 and a 10. The ending of a very, very difficult time. Let's have a look at fears and hopes. You're so going, I need this to come, Deborah. I need this to come. Your fear is that it's not going to come. You need that. Wow. Let's see what the outcome will be, which we will tell in later. The energy under the deck. Something's coming. What is going on? Something is coming that's going to change your life. Like, wow. This is very quick energy. This is here. This is happening now. If this has not happened to you, if this has happened to you, comment and tell me what it is. I'm so curious. It could be something that leads you to financial stability here or the beginning of something stable. If it is a relationship, it's like the beginning of a very stable relationship. That's a page promising the promise of stability in your world in the future. Like I said, eight of wands coming in very quickly i like that it says yeah success and growth and every card that came out here except for the endings and of bad stuff you know is success and growth um the three of cups some uh, this is a blo uh, not a blockage it could be a challenge i think when it happens when this event takes place here when a situation unfolds you may get a little bit afraid that um is this good for you are the people you're meeting or the people that you're now surrounding yourself with on this journey with the ace of pentacles ace of pentacles that has come in here is it is it okay can i trust these people they kind of vibe and um, the root of this entire reading and the root you must remember is what's underground so you may not as of yet see this but there's something that's going to change your world is the world <laughs> literally um you it's actually carrying the world on her shoulders there but not in a bad way 
it's actually good. I feel like you in some kind of way have been carrying the world on your shoulders because of these two cards. Okay, the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Tens are endings of bad cycles. Depending on what it is, it's either a reaching of a place where, like the world, you reach a goal of happiness, that the swords and the wands are hard energies. Um, with this ten of, um, with this two tens ending, it's almost like the weight that you were carrying and the problems that you were having with what you've been carrying on your shoulders changes. This is somebody whose life is changing. Man, that's amazing. What has happened in the past year is a change or shifting energy inside, either inside of you or around you because of the three of ones. And you know what? This specific deck, um, there is like, I don't know if you can see with all the lighting, there is almost like an archway or a doorway, but it's slightly like invisible. Do you see that? And it's almost like there's a, something has already happened in your past year where there was a change that took place and um, maybe you had to leave something behind maybe you had to walk away from something here because you did move forward and in doing so somehow your life has changed okay and you met new people you went in a new direction things change you know and you move forward and i don't think at that time when this happened you realized you walked through a portal you walk through a doorway. I don't think like you knew. I think she just walked through there and didn't really see that. Okay. But if you had something change in your life, maybe you had a relationship that broke up or you left where you were currently employed, you relocated in some kind of way, you just changed something. Maybe you were not hanging out with all the friends like you used to. You know, it could have been even people you were dating here, uh, people who were friends with you. And you could have literally maybe cut some people out i'm just saying you didn't know at that time when you were doing that where this was going to go and i think the decision that you made here with regards to whatever this is has got a far-reaching effect that you don't know yet with this possibility which is like this is a amazing possibility the pain the things that people have done the what you've been going through over the past couple of years is now coming to an end it is coming to an end and what is can be financial worries it can be people around you i feel like it could be a lot of things combined um you are moving into the future where finally balance comes back in you are moving into the future yeah, where the people that you do surround yourself with are completely giving and taking with you they're not one-sided you're not going to get bread crammed here you're not going to get um just scraps given to people and sort of like don't get the attention that you want to get or work through i got like a, i think i've got like cat fluff i've got cats and i think it's stuck somewhere in my face i'm on my way but anyway sorry about that with the six of pentacles coming in here i do feel like even if it's financial worries that you've been having yet yeah, not now you're going to work hard and you're going to get paid for it. Thank you. You know, can we just be fair with each other? And those bosses out there, if you're a boss and you're not paying your people fairly and you're riding around with a sports car, it's called karma. It will come back to you. You mustn't do that. You must be fair, okay? Um, with the happiness card coming up here, ah, oh, in your energy, this is going to make you very very happy look at how at peace this person is sitting there this card is all about the yellow is so like yes inspiring with the red in the middle there a bit of passion a bit of um fiery energy coming up there you know um i feel honestly you're going to see growth in your life here you're going to see your, your life transformed in some kind of way i do feel like you you do have to pass through an ending here or there has been endings even it's almost like what life has been doing to you it's like a lot of stuff going on you're just handling it because of the card that comes on top of it as well this is in your energy that's all of it that's what's in this ten of swords here it's it's the time your car broke down on the road it's the time you got into trouble at work it's the time people betrayed you it's the time you you had something broken in your house and you had to get it fixed and you were just like i'm so broke now oh no it's the time you know you had something stolen from you it's a time people said mean things to you it's a time you dated somebody and they betrayed you with your best friend i don't know you know what i mean that's all that energy that is now being released from you oh this reading man 
Libra. You know what? You got to be strong. You got to keep going. Hey, in life you cannot give up. There's seasons. <laughs> there are seasons to everything, and sometimes. You're in the season of winter, you know, where it's cold and dark and gloomy and things are not okay. It can seem like forever and sometimes it can be forever. It can be 10 years, you know, of this 10 of swords like this, 10 of wands. And then all of a sudden, in a moment, I promise you, life can just go boom and change. I I'm telling you, I've seen it in my own life. Um, with the Knight of Cups coming in here. There is new, this is your fears and your hopes. I think your biggest fear, like I said, is that this does not happen for you. And it just goes back into where it was. And your hope is like, I'm so ready for this. I'm so ready to feel different from what I've been feeling. And let's get into an outcome energy and see what's going on. Oh man, no, you're going to be fine. You're going to be taking your two pages coming in here. Your emotions, your financial stability, your life stability and how you feel. This is going to be there. Remember, these are pages here, and above these cards where your fears are is a knight. Knight means, this would be, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do that. And then when you see the knight come in, you actually go and do it. So it means, I want to go do yoga, and then I don't do yoga. You see, sometimes you've got that thought of wanting to do something. With the knight of cups coming, with the page of cups, it's an indication of when you think something, take the actions towards it. If you do that, you are going to be in a very, very good place. Let's get two more cards out for you here and look more into the emotional energies and how this is going to be affecting you, possibly what might still be coming in here. So let's see what Spirit Guide will advise you as you are moving uh, into the bonus part of the reading. So let's have a look and see release. Oh, you are about to let go of a major cycle here. You've got the death card coming in. You're going to release this. This is good. Very, very good. You are going to release. You've got a death card. Because Scorpio coming in here. Excuse me. I think that you are ending a very negative cycle here. Congratulations. It's been hard, hey? Oh, this life is not a joke, hey? Some people... They have it, and then other people seem to have it a lot worse. You know, some people's lives they got problems, and then they other people's lives they got problems. You know what I mean? So, um, I just think that's like that because I think everybody's got problems to certain levels. You know, yes, we do all have problems, but some people's problems are a lot worse than what other people's problems are. You can't deny that, and I think this is what I've experienced or what I've seen from the work that I'm doing. It's like Either, I know people who have got heavy things going on in their world. They're very, very old souls. That's what I do know. That experience these kind of things. Because, you know, the other one, people who have got problems, but not as much as other people who have got problems, um, they, their soul's energy is not as old. They would not cope carrying all of this. So you carrying this stuff here yeah, because you're very seasoned, you know, you're a long long life you've got a long energy of your soul it's very old and it knows what it's doing it knows how to carry this even though you're you're you going what the heck you what was i thinking yeah you know you you think you know what you were thinking soul what were you thinking you know what i mean well, your higher self energy but apparently you're going to do this when i see this in a reading especially from the success that i've seen and the pain that you've come through here you don't understand the level of success you're moving into you don't understand. It's got goosebumps in your reading. Like, it's got goosebumps inside of my face here. You don't understand. Whew, goosebumps. You do not understand how high you can go. What level you can reach. Your, your own family will not recognize who you can become. People don't know who you are when this comes. Can you believe you got a world card and a world card? It says embrace, open your arms. Now I'm noticing that both of these people's hands are up like this. It's almost like I was telling you, it's like you step through this portal over here. And sometimes when I see this card here, I don't know if I mentioned that, when I see the dominoes coming from above, high above like that, there's another card as well. It also shows that same kind of energy. It's almost like something's coming from the universe. Something, a gift is coming in because of actions that you've made decisions about in your past year. And you don't know how far reaching this is going to be. You may not, and not, may not, when you did this, you may not have even seen the results of where you're going and what's going to happen. But let me tell you something. Holy moly, you've got two world cards. It's like the universe is giving you a buffet and they just like grab a plate and 
grab a spoon and go dish up whatever you want. Whatever you're going to put into your world, you're going to get it. Dream as big as you can. Okay. And I even feel like with the two world cards surprising us like this, you're going to be surprised at how different your life is going to be. You're going to be surprised at how far the success and growth is going to go. Because you've got growth in the sun card. You've got the growth here as well. You don't know <laughs> um, what is still coming in here. I think <laughs> with regards to this let's have a look and see uh, something just fell down anyway okay so let's go and have a look and see here the person let's get into your bonus let's do this who are you thinking about if you want to tell me comment below if not then it's okay remember to subscribe because next week I will be checking into money over the next three months literally the last three months of the year october november december can you believe it oh my god the end of 2022 people so let's get in your subscribe so you can get that i get that one um with regards to a person's energy right now somebody from your past um the ace of wands in the reverse position the eight of wands in the upright position and the eight of cups whoever this is I feel like there's somebody from your past that you're thinking about here, okay? Or somebody that's a family member to you, maybe it's possible. Um, even a child or something like that. But this could be somebody from your past because this talks about memories from the past. It's either you thinking about this person, memories from the past, um, or it is um, uh, this person maybe thinking about you, somebody from the past thinking about you. I'm just saying. Um, with regards to this, this is somebody that has not in your life or has walked away from you if this is somebody that you like you not haven't had a relationship with they themselves are have either broken up with somebody or walked away from somebody changed something in their life yeah that they did walk away relocate change their job had a breakup that kind of thing and um they do still think about this person or you're still thinking about them i will honestly tell you i'm going to be very straightforward with you here please do not get down on me um, if you're hoping that this person comes back to you, there's an eight of wands here. If you're hoping somebody might show up in your world, the answer to that is no. This person will not come back in because of the eight, ace of wands being in the reverse position. If you're hoping with a new start, maybe one day I might still hear from this person. No. A lot of things are happening in their life here. They're moving forward. Okay. Um, if this is... For instance, somebody that you know and you're going, um, maybe you're interested in somebody. I also feel like this person is kind of like looking at other places. I don't think they'll come in towards you. Um, if this is just somebody you know, like you're wondering about that friend or family member, they are walking away from something and I don't think they want to restart something. They want to just keep moving forward in their life here. This, whatever this is, whoever this is, it's somebody that is, is completely let go of their past. They're walking away completely from negative cycle by the way with the seven of swords some negative cycle that was occurring in their life seven of swords they're walking away and they're not coming back okay there we go my beautiful libras thank you so much for coming in i'm sending my love to you guys and i always do bye